Hello, everybody. Happy last week of school. It's just so unbelievable that we are still here learning virtually. I've really missed seeing you in person over the past few months, um, but I know that you've all been doing such great work at home and I'm really proud of you. And I hope we will be together in September. Um, I Before I start reading, I wanna just tell you all that I hope you have a great summer and make sure that you read the summer. It is absolutely the one most important thing you can do for yourself and for your schooling is continue to read. Our assignment this week is just to go through all of the summer reading materials that I'm going to be sending you and posting here on my website. Um, I had the opportunity to meet with most of you last week and I still have a few more classes that I will be meeting with this week just to share one more story together live, go over summer reading and say goodbye to you as in person as we can. Um, I think we're ready to start our story, our last formal story together this week, but I also have stories that'll be dropping in the story time with Mrs. Mark Walker link on my website. All of those stories will stay on my website through the summer, so anytime you feel a little sad about missing school, you can always pop on and listen to a story by me. So our story this week, our last one, is called The Three Questions. It's written and illustrated by John J. Muth. The Three Questions. There once was a boy named Nikolai who sometimes felt uncertain about the right way to act. I want to be a good person, he told his friends, but I don't always know the best way to do that. Nikolai's friends understood and they wanted to help him. If I could find the answers to my three questions, Nikolai continued, then I would always know what to do. When is the best time to do things? Who is the most important one? And what is the right thing to do? Nikolai's friends considered his first question. Then Sonia the heron spoke, to know the best time to do things, one must plan in advance, she said. Gogol the monkey, who had been rooting through some leaves to find something good to eat said, you will know when to do things if you watch and play close attention. Then Pushkin, the dog, who was just dozing off, rolled over and said, you can't pay attention to everything yourself. You need a pack to keep watch and help you decide when to do things. For example, Gogol, a coconut is about to fall on your head. Nikolai thought for a moment. Then he asked his second question. Who is the most important one? Those who are closest to heaven, said Sonia, circling up in the sky. Those who know how to heal the sick, said Gogol, stroking his bruised noggin. Those who make the rules, growled Pushkin. Nikolai thought some more. Then he asked the third question. What is the right thing to do? Flying, said Sonia. Having fun all the time, laughed Gogol. Fighting, barked Pushkin right away. Then the boy thought for a long while. He loved his friends and he knew they were all trying their best to help him answer his questions, but their answers didn't seem quite right. Then an idea came to him. I know he thought, I will ask Leo the turtle. He has lived for a very long time. Surely he will know the answers I am looking for. Nikolai hiked high up into the mountains where the old turtle lived all alone. When Nikolai arrived, he found Leo digging a garden. The turtle was old and digging was hard for him. I have three questions and I came to ask your help, Nikolai said. When is the best time to do things? Who is the most important one? And what is the right thing to do? Leo listened carefully. 
but he only smiled. Then he went on with his digging. You must be tired, Nikolai said at last. Let me help you. The turtle gave him a shovel and thanked him. And because it was easier for a young boy to dig than it was for an old turtle, Nikolai kept on digging until the rows were finished. But just as he finished, the wind blew wildly and rain burst from the darkened clouds. As they moved toward the cottage for shelter, Nikolai suddenly heard a cry for help. Running down the path, he found a panda whose leg had been injured by a fallen tree. Carefully, carefully, Nikolai carried her into Leo's house and made a splint for her leg with a stick of bamboo. The storm raged on, banging at the doors and windows. The panda woke up. Where am I, she said, and where is my child? The boy ran out of the cottage and down the path. The roar of the storm was deafening. Pushing against the howling wind and drenching rain, he ran farther into the forest, and there he found the panda's child, cold and shivering on the ground. The little panda was wet and scared, but alive. Nikolai carried her inside and made her warm and dry. Then he laid her in her mother's arms. Leo smiled when he saw what the boy had done. The next morning, the sun was warm, birds sang, and all was well with the world. The panda's leg was healing nicely, and she thanked Nikolai for saving her and her baby from the storm. At that moment, Sonia, Gogol, and Pushkin arrived to make sure everyone was all right. Nikolai felt great peace within himself. He had wonderful friends, and he had saved the panda and her child. But he also felt disappointed. He still had not found the answers to his three questions. So Leo asked one more time. The old turtle looked at the boy. But your questions have been answered, he said. They have, asked the boy. Yesterday, if you had not stayed to help me dig my garden, you would not have heard the panda's cries for help in the storm. Therefore, the most important time was the time you spent digging the garden. The most important one at that moment was me. And the most important thing to do was help me with my garden. Later, when you found the injured panda, the most important time was the time you spent mending her leg and saving her child. The most important ones were the panda and her baby. And the most important thing to do was to take care of them and make them safe. Remember then that there is only one important time and that time is now. The most important one is always the one you are with. And the most important thing to do for the one who is standing at your side. For these, my dear boy, are the answers to what is most important in this world. That is why we are here. The end. I love the message in this book. I wanna go back to that last part. So his three questions. The most important one is the one that you are with. Boys and girls, that means always be present with the people that are with you. The most important thing to do is good for the one who is standing at your side. So whoever you are with, always make sure that you are doing good for them. And the most important time is now. I miss you all. Have a great summer.